Hey everybody, you're watching another episode of Fun Spencer International. So this is part two of the Mama's Beast at Rock on the TV show, the movies on CNN. Uh, so the last episode was dealing with the 2000s to today. So uh, I, I said this before in the in part one that uh, of course obviously this episode has aired already. If you want to watch the episode. It, uh, you can check their schedule and see when they're going to be repeating it because they've been repeating these episodes. If that doesn't work out, uh, or if you just don't have seen it and, uh, and, you, and you really want to watch the episode, it, it might be available on the website, so you could definitely check it there. With that said, I'll just jump right back in. So w we get some interesting new comedies. We get comedies that are very star driven and. Uh, We've had those before, but I think it becomes very prominent, though, in the early 2000s. And you have actors like, you know, comedic actors like Will Ferrell, Steve Carell, and Seth Rogen, and uh, Christian Wiig, and Melissa McCarthy. And th their films kind of um, are, are made largely to show off their, their comedic talent. Like, they're the main selling force and driving force of the movies. And, you know, so you, you get movies like Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, 2004, directed by Ivan McKay, who, of course, works with Will Ferrell a lot. You get The 40-Year-Old Virgin in 2005, directed by Judd Apatow, who was also a producer on Anchorman. And, of course, that one stars Steve Carell, along with Seth Rogen and Paul Rudd. Red and of course Steve Carell of course is the, the main one carrying that movie. I said Rogue and Paul Red um, do help carry that movie a, a lot as well too, because they are very funny. And of course they were also in a, in a Ackerman or, or Steve Carell and Paul Rudd. Not not Seth Rogen. Well, I, I just said Rogen was actually. I think he had a smaller part in Ackerman. Steve Carell and Paul Rudd had huge parts in Ackerman. You have uh, you have Dark Knocked Up, directed by Jedi Patel once again, which stars Seth Rogen. Uh, while with Paul Rudd again, and Jason Segel, I believe, was also in it. And in the 2008, we got Step Brothers, directed by Adam McKay, and starring once again Will Ferrell, along with his longtime friend, John C. Riley, who does a lot of films with him. And Judd Apatow also produced that as well. So, Adam McKay and Judd Apatow become two really major directors of comedies, and their major driving forces and kind of taking comedy to, to a new le level because because comedy uh, not only is focusing more on their stars and showing off the, the, their talents and we see we see a, a lot large resurgence of that but comedy becomes edgier and the whole lot more mature and you, you know that they're really trying to push the envelope to, to see why they can get get away with that some of these movies don't mean it's only safe PG-13 I think Anchorman was only PG-13 still, but it it, it kind of goes along with the 90s. They did, uh, you know, the 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 Farley brothers did or something about Mary. Not much of a picture thing, but we see uh, all of their films doing that as well in the early 2000s. And then in 2011, we got, we got Bridesmaids, directed by Paul Feig, and starring Christian Wig, Melissa McCarthy, and Maya Rudolph and Christian Wiig actually received the Oscar nomination for her co-writing of the script and Melissa McCarthy receives an Oscar nomination for her performance and this, this is a comedy ironically and uh, they have one scene of course where they all get like like about poop wars in it and they and they end up like like throwing up and, and, and pooping like right in the street I mean which and uh, nothing quite like that has that has ever been done in comedy movie before. I don't think so. That's kind of not big. You, I mean, you've had scenes where people get get real sick and are and are vomiting and and pooping all over the place because because they get they got people or stuff like that. Though, but, but you haven't seen them doing it like uh, like in the middle of the street. Though, I mean, so so that's different. And then of course, following that, Paul Feig makes Spy, directed by Melissa McCarthy in twenty fifteen. So he, he ends up working with, with her a lot, of course. And then, of course, uh, I should also mention Borat comes out in 2006, directed by Larry Charles, starring Tasha Baron Cohen. 
And okay, now one comedy movie that they did talk about that I'm surprised was actually one of my favorite comedy movies, Napoleon Dynamite, in 2004, and and that was a pretty huge comedy movie too to just gloss over and not talk about because because it was like the most successful just about low budget independent movie ever made. There was it was independent uh, to start with it, and, and most of its production I think, and then and then 20th Century Fox or Fox or Fox um. Or actually, um, it was a substitute for Twitch Fox. What was it? Um, Fox. Um, uh, well, I, let me go in the comment section. You know, because I'm I'm drawing like whatever reason. And and and, and, uh, and Pyramid Pictures and and, and MTV uh, picked it up. But yeah, it was an indie film to start with, though, and it was it, it was it was so successful, really. Uh, a groundbreaking like this well, I'm surprised that they that they didn't talk about it though but I understand they have so many movies though that they're talking about and it's hard to keep up I don't get really why they didn't do uh, this in two parts why they, because it's, cause it's technically two decades but I don't know why they did 2000 to today of course of course with that said uh, animation also goes into a new direction you have animated films that are trying to be a little more mature and uh, you know give the characters more depth and you see that a lot with you know you know Shrek of course kind of starts that and of course it also moves animated films into into being much of CGI of course it comes out as the one directed by Andrew Adamson and Aaron Warner and starring the voice talents of Michael Myers, Eddie Murphy, Cameron Diaz and John Lithgow and of course, uh, so the Pixar ones up his game. So then we get Monsters Inc. in 2001, directed by Pete Larkander, and featuring the voices of Billy Crystal and John Goodman. 2004 sees The Incredibles, directed by Brad Bird. And that one, of course, Brad talks about in the 90s episode about how uh, Toy Story was very new, got back in your hand. Not even really because of the animation, but with him, it's more so because the character felt so much more were real and he felt like I was talking da down to us because we were kids they weren't they didn't act too childish you know they they, they felt rather and they felt real serious problems and the Incredibles expanded upon that even more but it, it was it but I, I want to show that you know the people tend to think that animated films were type of film he was trying to show well no this could be more than that because this movie was like a superhero movie it was it, it was like a superhero hero movie but just just animated. I mean, I mean, it was basically an animated super movie. It was just like it was just like any live action superhero movie, in a lot of ways. And and then of course, uh, following uh, we see Wally two thousand eight directed by Andrew Stanton, uh, Up in two thousand nine directed by Pete Docter, uh, and Toy Story three in twenty ten directed by the old Ridge. And of course, obviously there's the, the Pixar films that I did talk about, but those are. Some of the really big ones that, that they actually specifically mentioned. Uh, obviously, they didn't mention all of them, and I, I wish they would have mentioned more. They didn't. They, they really didn't talk about any other DreamWorks films besides Shrek, and that surprised me too. You know, you know, I, I was I was kind of disappointed uh, with this episode. I was like, I thought there were there, there were a lot of pretty significant movies that they, they didn't even talk about, and uh, and 